hello guys welcome back to the session so let's start our next session now so in last previous session we say we out saw that uh, we have created some of the extend report uh, system where we were creating the reports with the help of extra uh, extra uh, ex, uh, extend reporting and also we have added some of the dependencies in the last session now in this session we will see some of the next uh, testing uh, verification what about uh, as as we know that we have tested about the login functionality now today we will go to the product page this is the product page where we have to do the testing we have to see whether this all kind of uh, log logos are displayed or not correctly from this page and uh, we will also add some of the uh, testing by adding uh, adding this to the cart and whether it is adding here or not we will verify that one then uh, also we will remove it like that so some of the uh, this functionality we will check with the today's session so before that uh, i have come up with that uh, one method where uh, right now as we have tested the uh, last session in the test ng xml file so uh, right now we will add the parameters in the test ng only where we will uh, give the uh, parameter about how we on which browser we have to test these methods like uh, if i want to test the method in the uh, chrome browser then in the test ng while i will run the test test class here i will add one parameter like parameter and then a name the parameter name will be the browser name and the value will be whatever i want to give the value that is chrome just in case and then just close this so this parameter will work as a uh, our parameter like uh, if i am calling the chrome then this test class will run into the chrome one so like that we will call the parameters but uh, how we can uh, run this parameter so for that we have to uh, change some uh, do the changes in our base class now so how to do it let's go to base class so this is the method we were using before that before method was using by to initialize the browser so we will just change this or just i will comment down this for that for now and we will create one more method the method name will be same thing public initialize browser okay and then here we will uh, sorry in a uh, static static void okay and then uh, here we will give the parameter like uh our annotation before method okay and here at the uh, at the starting we will give the parameter like annotation parameter and in that parameter we will give the name so we have given the name here like uh, browser name so same name we will give in the base class also here parameter and we will just call that parameter here parameters of okay s we need to add the s okay so we have added this parameter now now we have to set this tree so uh, what will be the uh, so we have to give the uh, browser name to this method and when we will call this parameter that time it will run that parameter so we have to give the parameter here one string and browser okay and then we will create the further uh, okay so here what i want to sh show you that we will use the switch cases uh, method to run the test cases based on the uh, whatever the string value we will give here based on that it will run the switch cases so how we will do just before that we will write the switch case method switch okay this is the statement this is a statement now uh, we have to do one thing here is the key so what will be the key so here will be browser this browser will come and also one more we have to do the uh, one more thing we have to do uh, we will keep one thing browser dot to 
lower case what will happen like that if i in case i will uh, give the browser name there as a uh, like this if i will give like uh, chrome as a capital c or for in case i will write um uh, firefox like this so in that what happens that uh, the name of that uh, that capital letter small letter will be mixed so that's why what we will do just we will change that whatever we are giving the uh, a, a string in this format whatever it will be the cap capital or smaller that will be changed to the lower case itself okay then uh, inside the uh, switch case switch we will uh, add the value to the case so if uh, if whatever browser i have given here and that it will be changed to lower case then the, this case will be work so case name will be uh, just case uh, chrome will be our case and for that we will use web driver manager dot chrome driver dot setup so when i will call the chrome that time it will run this this case okay now similarly we will create the other cases also and also uh, we have to do one thing after that we have to create the driver equal to new chrome driver okay so we have created first case and then this break should be work then uh, we have to just copy this one and we will do one thing we will just paste uh, three times one is for okay two times one is for firefox and second is for i guess we will go for h1 so here we will give firefox sorry arch we have give okay and then uh here we will give the h okay now for this dot firefox dot set and here we will give the name firefox driver and then semicolon similarly for h driver also we will do one same thing then dot h driver dot setup and then similarly here also we will change that h driver okay done so now uh we have done the uh now okay so for uh, also for default also we have to do one thing that uh if i will give uh that pro browser name rather than means apart from these names if i have give another name that time the default should work and what will be default so we will give reporter dot log and here uh, we will print one message that uh, please enter the valid browser name and whatever browser name we have you uh, to uh, we have given that will be printed apart from like this and here we will give the browser as a browser name okay then after the switch case then we will go for further driver dot manage dot window dot maximize after that uh, we will uh, we have to read the uh, url from the uh, utility class so we will go for driver dot uh, get url and what which uh, url we have to find utility class dot read pd, PD pf data and inside that data we will add uh, name of the url this is the property file and this will i guess give the error so we will use the try catch block so try and here after we will give that and 
catch catch block we will e dot print stack that's it and then uh, after this uh, we will have to delete the cookies also so driver dot manager manage dot delete all cookies so we don't need to store any kind of cookies in our uh, recent any kind of test test cases so we will just delete all these cookies then afterwards we have to uh, give the implicitly wait also so driver dot manage dot timeout dot implicitly wait and the waiting time will be 15 seconds and then time unit dot seconds and then semicolon okay so in this way we have generated one we have created one parameter uh, method which will run before any test cases uh, i guess it's correct yeah it's correct uh, here we will just enter it and then save it so now uh, whenever we will run the test cases we will run from the test uh, test ng file only so we will run uh, we will run this uh, xml file right now and we will make sure that our test case uh, we have after method enable uh, this is enable 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 we'll just keep it false for now and then we will run this method so let's go we run this method it's running launching my okay it's launching chrome driver open see when i am giving the chrome it will open that chrome ram we will also change the name now so we will go for h right now and also i will make sure they see if i will give the name h like this now the first letter is in the capital so this will also re read that without any problem see browser is opening and running the test cases and then closing it as so see microsoft edge web driver started successfully so like this we can give any kind of uh, whatever and we can also add more uh, browser if you want and then like that we can just enter the value here and in that form that uh, value will go into our base class and read by the uh, parameters at the parameter and then we can successfully run the test cases on the uh, required browser right now we will change it to the chrome now okay so we have to run or we have to test these all uh, icons which are present inside our uh, product page but uh, before we have to enter in this product page we have to uh, log in the page first so we will do one thing we will create one uh, page right now to just add all these web elements in uh, web element addresses in that page so just we will go back to our login page uh, no sorry we have to create one new page class now so in pages package we will create one new uh, class and the name of that class will be product page okay this is the page now so as in the login page what we have done we have a call uh, we have created the uh, met, uh, web element here with encapsulated with the private access specifier and then we have initialized this browser also here same at the same place and then we have created the action class uh, methods in the before uh, below those all those uh, methods so like same thing we will do for the product page now so we will start from um, we have to also verify the page uh, is it opening correctly or not then we will use this uh, header and then then for footer and then we will go for all the products whichever are present in the page so we will just uh, go for this header here is the div class app logo so app logo is we are we can call this so now uh, 
uh, it's a div and class and logo and we will just copy that logo name copy and then we will uh, call the expert uh, is there any id no there are not any, any id so we'll go for same thing uh, add active div and then square braces at direct class equal to in single quoted comma we will give we will paste that one so see we can verify it is one of one so just we will copy it and go back to our page class so at direct find by okay then find by with xpath equal to we will paste that xpath here then private web element import it and web element uh, the name of the web element will be uh, we will go for app logo same thing only so app logo now uh, we will go for footer now at the header i guess we can uh, use this one also menu one no okay so for menu also we will go for it so for menu it's div class uh okay we will go for button it's a button we can we will go for div class only so copy paste it's one of one okay so same thing we will do at direct find by inside that xpath equal to index uh, double quoted commas and paste it and we will give the private access specifier sorry web element and we will give the name as a menu menu button menu uh, btn okay button now we will go for the cart so let's go to cart now the you can go for div one so for this it's a id so we will just copy that and go for at, at direct find by and with the help of id we are finding it and paste that uh, name of that id private web element and we will call it uh, shopping cart or i cart or just shop cart i will name it like shop cart this is the header c3 section other than below that we have the product name also and this for product name we will go for it div header secondary container so secondary container we will copy this one and here also we will paste it it's one of one so at direct find by uh, find by xpath and we will give the web element my name as a um what we can give to this name product logo we can go for prod logo prod product okay product logo but it will create a confusion so we have to give new name for that mm, what can we can give products logo um title product uh, header secondary content we will uh, we will just uh, skip this one right now we will go for further this we, logos we have to use it so we just we will find out this logo now so for this it's a for in here footer here is the ul in this li this is the name of that twitter logo so we will just be find with the text so uh, we have to call it like uh, a okay what wait a minute wait a minute uh, it's a okay a uh, 
text we have to find it uh, as a okay text is equal to no no we have we have mentioned it wrong um we can find it like logo target we can go for target one blank target blank is the name and for social twitter okay this one is the correct one now social twitter to social facebook and social link word okay so we'll just go for li and class name so li inside that class name equal to okay see this this is one thing so for this uh, we can do one thing we will just change it and here we will give the name twitter logo okay uh, we will just copy this one copy and just just paste here three times two times okay this will be the facebook logo and this will be the i guess it's a linkedin okay linkedin okay then we will go for the social here we will it is a name we have to try it here also is that correct or not yeah, it's correct then we will go for this one and similarly we will paste here it's the same okay so we will come here and then change it to linkedin okay so in this way we have take uh, we have uh, find out the path of all those uh, header uh, footer uh, icons also now we will get get back to this uh, logos now so it said you can go for like that okay uh, we can okay it's an inventory item i inserted inventory item this is a class name for it, this inventory and for this is like, okay so inventory item has separate uh, div class for this inside that this is the first class i guess inventory item image will be the name but there are the uh, similar name for other also inventory image inventory items like that so we have to do one thing we can also find out why this same name is given so we can do one thing one more thing uh, we can go for this one source lab backpack because for another inventory it will be a different name uh, inventory item images inside that what is the name of that image okay as we have got this name is like a okay inside that image okay okay this is the source labs bike and this is for inventory item as we have got the name of is this source bag backpack and similarly for second one it's a source bags back uh, okay like back bike light and for similarly for this third one it's a okay so we will go for a uh, this em img alt and uh source like okay so that's we can copy it and keep here paste it here then uh here we will give the name a alt and for this uh img so this is the correct answer now so we will go for this 
at the rate find by rotation and here we will give the x path paste it private web element and the name of that uh, logo is source labs backpack so nothing there so we will go for backpack why it is saying pack pack so we will go for that same thing backpack logo camel kiss back okay so we will just copy this line and we have to paste it for one two three four five five times so we will go for this two three four five okay so for this one um this is for backpack okay then later on this is the copy so here we will paste it is correct okay so just copy here and no for this one we will go for it and paste it here and then we will change the name of that logo uh, name uh, that will be uh, sauce labs bike light so we'll go for bike light bike light logo then for uh, next one we will go for next one here this is the item logo page uh, this is the name bolt t-shirt so we will go for this name copy and here we will paste it and we will just paste it here also and the name of this logo will be uh, bolt t-shirt okay bolt t shirt bolt t shirt then for it's a jacket so we will go for the third one this is the third one inside the inventory images inside da this is the name of that t shirt sorry jacket so this is the name of the jacket just we will paste it here and the name of that logo we will give as a i guess what's the name here sauce lab fleece uh, jacket so fleece jacket like that we will give the name then for next logo this is the sauce lab one side so third one here for Mm, inside the images here this is the source lab one side i don't know what how we have to pronounce that line okay copy it it's a one on one and then paste it here and then for logo name we will give the logo name as mm, white tees is a one side uh, so we will go right white tea white tees or a t-shirt like that white t-shirt logo and for this one we will go for red t-shirt logo like that okay for this one inside inventory images this is the name of that kids long name paste it copy it and then here we will paste it i guess i have done something wrong here okay here it is there uh, okay we have added this and the name of that logo will be red 
टी शर्ट लोगो सो इन दिस वे वी हैव फाइंड ऑल द लोगो आइटम्स विल गो फर्दर फॉर दिस बटन ऑल्सो देन दिस नेम्स ऑल्सो दिस पेज ऑल्सो फर्दर राइट नाउ वी विल जस्ट कॉल दिस नेम्स आफ्टर वर्स वी विल कॉल दी कार्ट नेम ऑल्सो right now we will just over here and then it's a inventory okay we will just refresh this page and then we have to log in it again so this html form will be in the sorry i have to do one thing i have to bring it easy here okay in this way okay great now uh, inside the body inside this root div this content wrapper this is header we don't want to go in the header now in the inventory i uh, containers under the inventory containers these are the list of the items inside this list we have to find out under this section price bar is there under this section i guess this is the price and this is the button name so we have to see whether the button name is similar for everyone or just okay so here is the name of that button 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 primary button small button inventory add to cart sauce lab backpack this is the name this is the id here add to cart sauce lab backpack same uh, for this add to cart sauce lab pack bike light so we can use the id for each of the uh, add to cart buttons so we will just go for uh, here we will just name it uh, we will give one name here as product logo here after that we will comment here product logos and here we will give the name as page header footer logo now below this we will add add to cart logos or we can say not logo it's a button button uh -huh. and then below that we will add the button there uh, okay so add the red find by then private web element we will just copy this line because we have to mention one two three four so one two three four five five times one more time then inside this we have to add with id so we will just give the name id equal to and okay similarly for other also we will just copy this okay and first of all we will write all the names so first of all for this one it will be add to cart backpack add cart add cart okay so we will write like this back pack add cart okay now for bike sorry bike light add cart for next one it's a t-shirt no so bolt t-shirt bolt t shirt <coughs> add cart and for next one it's a jacket so jacket add cart and then for next one it's a one size so we can call it like white t shirt no so white t shirt add cart 
add to cart we can call it add to cart add to cart like this not just add cart add to cart don't worry this name will will be better naming convention is most important in your so better you should give the proper naming also so that no further confusions will be there as in organization also it's most important thing is to make it sophisticated and understandable also for everyone so now for first name is that source lab backpack for that we will use this name sorry okay okay copy and come here inside this paste it so it is a backpack add card now for second one this is the name of that id copy it and then come here and just paste it this is for bike bike light okay it's coming error here find by annotation oh it's a b okay now for third one this we will wrap it down here uh, okay under this uh, we have to go for third one and for this for under price lab this is the name of that so we will go here and just paste it sorry guys it will be quite a long video but i will cut it down and then in next video we will just mention the action methods for them and then of uh, uh, test cases for that so the right now we will just add all these methods or we can say all these um, items of this page it's mostly important before uh, doing the test cases for this one also we will just go for this price bar under that we have this id and then this id is for jacket same thing for jacket add to cart okay now wrap it down and come here in the uh, inventory item description and here in the price bar we will add this okay and for last one copy it no don't worry for this whenever you are going to for id just copy that id name and then paste it here okay so in this way we have added the uh, add to cart button also for separate every each of that add to cart button okay so this is the okay we have we have to also find out for menu uh, also sorry for this uh, drop down menu also so we will just find it out by and this is the select uh, select class and the name of that values are here so we can go for let's say we'll select class only select and you will, we will paste it here the class name and it's a select so it's one on one copy it here we will go one thing here we can go click right comment down comment down it's a drop down menu uh, sort menu sorting product sort menu at direct find by and inside that we will we are using text path equal to under that and uh, private web element and the name of that element will be uh, product sort drop down so we have find out all those web elements now so just we have to mention one thing here that is public uh, void or sorry not void public 
and the name of that page is product page here come here product page web driver driver page factory dot init element here we will give driver and that will be the this okay as we created here also same thing we are doing here same thing uh sorry for here and we have to import it so for logos what will be the most important thing ah uh, that is are they displaying or not that is the most important thing so for all the logos we will call uh, is displayed like that so for that we have to create the method logo public world or we can say boolean because we were going to give the return type as a boolean uh, boolean the name of that uh, uh, method will be logo present okay so return then what is the for header logo no? so we will go for header and footer like that so here we will give header logo present so all the header logo we will return here not like that we can go for one by one no so for this uh, app logo will be this so app logo dot is displayed and this is for app logo similarly for we have to multiply time we have to show it so for this menu button shop cart is present or not menu cart button is present or not we have to give that look so menu button here we will give menu button logo so here menu button then later on for app uh, this is the shop cart so here we will call the oh, i guess i have to so some space so after menu button we have to come here and then shop cart logo present here we will give shop cart similarly for next one it is a low twitter facebook and linkedin so here we will give the name twitter logo For this Facebook logo, and this is for Twitter. Ah, uh, sorry, LinkedIn. Okay. Okay, guys. So this is for logo one. Like that's for everything. I will uh, write it down, and then in the, in the next uh, session, I will show what are these, uh, what are the different logo, uh, sorry, action methods I have created, and I will go through all those action methods next time, and also then we will start to uh, verify, uh, implement all the logical ways to test it down the other um, product page logo uh, methods okay for now just we will wrap it down here and then uh, we will continue this on the next uh, session so let's we will start in the next session thank you